Hi gorgeous, how are you? In today's video we are going to be reviewing MAC makeup products to see if they are overrated. Recently they have raised their prices and also they have discontinued the program Back to MAC. This is a program that you could get back six empty products by MAC Cosmetics and you could get back a free lipstick. They are still accepting the empty makeup products but they're not giving anything back to the customer even a voucher. I am very disappointed because I have kept a lot of empty products to take back. MAC didn't even give a notice of three or six months that we could at least get prepared and accept that the program is over. One brand that is accepting empty products and they are giving vouchers is the boot.uk. So if you live in the UK, you can also take your empty products there. I don't know about any other brands, so let me know in the comments if you have any ideas or what happens in your country. So before we start, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. I'm posting videos every week. Get band on. I'm going to start with the Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage. I have here a sample. It was from an advent calendar. It contains six milliliters. The full size is $36 for 30 milliliters. This is a primer that I was using a lot in the beginning of my makeup exploration. It has a mousse consistency and it is a hydrating primer. It gives a very light sheen to the skin. It has a silicone feeling when you swatch it and it is very very spreadable it is smoothing it is blurring just a tiny bit the pores is this primer overrated i don't think it is a bad primer but i think it is overpriced for foundation i'm gonna be using this one here it is the first mac foundation that i tried many years ago and i bought it a lot of times so this one is the studio fix fluid with spf 15 and this one got a lot more expensive. I remember it was around $30. Now it is $42. 42. I have the shade NC20. Also, you need to buy the pump if you want to have one for your foundation. Otherwise, the $42 are only for this, for the bottle with a cup. I'm not sure where I have the cup now. This foundation has full coverage. It gives a light glow during the day. I used to really like it because it is great for dry skin. But now that I saw the new price, I think it is very expensive. MAC is one of the first brands that had a very nice shade range for their face products and you can find this foundation in 63 colors so everyone can find their foundation and that's very nice for some reason it is very yellowy i'm going to fix it with concealer i found now on their website that the pump is ten dollars that means if you want to use this foundation you need to pay 52 dollars I don't think it is an overrated foundation, but I think it is overpriced. I have also found a dupe for this foundation that I'm gonna use in my next makeup dupes video. I have also done this one here if you want to watch it. For concealer, I'm gonna be using this one by Essence. It is the Camouflage Matte Concealer in the shade 30 Light Honey. Now, I have also here a MAC concealer. This one is the Studio Finish Concealer concealer with SPF 35 and this one is a creamy concealer however it is creasing on me because it has a thicker consistency this is in the shade NW20 it's very weird why didn't I get for this one it is very cool toned 
to use with this foundation this one retails for 28 dollars and you can find it in 22 colors which is nice i don't like this concealer it is creasing on me so i'm gonna say it is overrated i have also tried one more concealer by mac this one is the pro longwear concealer the price of it is 31 dollars and you can find it in 16 shades i have used that concealer many times i bought it four five times but the issue is that it has a glass bottle and i broke it a few times so that's why i wanted something bulletproof and i got the next to this one that i don't like so about this concealer here the pro longwear it is a liquid concealer it is very nice on the eyes you can use it if you have dry under eye area it doesn't crease it doesn't irritate the skin it is very blendable but i don't like the packaging i really like this concealer and you can use it for a lot of months so i'm gonna say that it's not overrated and now i'm taking the essence because i couldn't find other concealers that could go with this very yellow yellow foundation why did i get this shade so on my lips i had this mac lip gloss in the shade candy box i have swatched all of my lip glosses by mac in this video here i'm going to have a link in the description box and now i'm going to apply the mac prep and prime for the lips this is basically a primer before applying a lipstick or another lip product so you can hydrate the lips in the beginning it is hydrating but after an hour it's not so hydrating anymore so i wouldn't use it as a lip balm it is what it says prep and prime this one is the full size we have 1.7 grams of product and it retails for 23 dollars I think it is very expensive, it doesn't do much. I would say get an EOS lip balm if you want to prep your lips. I don't really like this, I think it is overrated. Moving on to these best sellers by MAC, these are the strobe creams. I have here the shade gold light and also pink light and i'm going to apply them on both of my cheeks so you can see the color and i'm going to start with gold light this is basically a liquid highlighter that you can use to create that flawless strobing effect on the face and i'm going to add some on this side so you can use this as a primer as well it looks very nice for editorial makeup looks it gives a very healthy looking glow to the skin i'm also blending with my sponge to make it more natural this one gives a light yellowy golden sheen it gives the glass like effect now i'm taking the shade pink light oh it doesn't open okay and as the name indicates this one gives a light pinky sheen to the skin it's not gonna look very complimentary with this yellow foundation that i have but again it looks like my skin but a lot glowier now if you want to use this for a very glowy makeup look it doesn't make sense to set it with powder so if you want to set this even though it's not very sticky you can use a powder highlighter you can't really see the pink sheen so i have swatched it on the back of my hand it can look very nice if you have a cool undertone i like the strobe creams the full size is 36 dollars we're getting 50 milliliters and the mini that i have here contains 15 milliliters and the price of it is 18 dollars even though it is a better price for the quantity to get the full size i would say get the mini size because it is a very spreadable product you need just a tiny amount if you want Want to apply it on the cheekbone so you don't need the full size you can find them in three colors i don't think they are overrated because you can't find this sheen with a lot of other creamy highlighters and i'm going to use the skin food peach setting powder to set everything now i'm applying also on top of the strobe cream and you can see it is a moo point you lose all of this beautiful glowy effect i'm also setting the eyes i'm taking again the mac lip gloss in the shade candy box because i feel like 
I don't have any color on my lips and I'm taking now the Hula Glow Bronzer by Benefit with this one I'm going to bronze a little bit my face and here I have one of my favorite products by MAC this one is the Mineralized Blush in the shade Warm Soul and I have used this again I still have the empty and it is a beautiful blush that goes on so many skin tones uh, let's swatch it it is a warmer corally pink blush with some golden sheen and it is super beautiful so i'm also adding some on the nose you can find this in 12 shades and the price of it is 33 dollars it is quite expensive I really like how it looks on the face, it gives a light glow but also it is smoothing. For me it's not overrated, it looks great for everyday makeup looks, also for a night out with girlfriends. I really like this one. For the brows I have here the MAC Brow Set and this one is a clear brow gel that I have used a few times as you can see the color here and I'm going to set my brow hair now i have already applied on top of them the benefit goof proof brow powder in the shade 3 warm light this one is not a very strong brow gel so if you want to create the fluffy brows you're not gonna be able to achieve them with this product this one is very nice to use without any makeup on just to fluff up your brows and not give them that soapy effect it has a light scent of alcohol fyi but it's not drying and this retails for 23 dollars even though i have found a way of using it i'm gonna say it is overrated because you can find on the market a better brow gel now i'm applying a tiny bit of highlighter this one is by Essence, it is the Gimme Glow Luminous Highlighter in the shade 10 Glowy Champagne and it goes very well with all of the face products and here I have some single eyeshadows that I want to use to create a smoky brown eye look I have swatched here the eyeshadows that I'm gonna be using I'm taking the shade What Cloud this is a warmer brown eyeshadow that I want to use as a crease color and I have never tried these eyeshadows so I'm hoping I can create something good. This one melts into the eyes. It is super smooth. It blends very nicely. So let's go to the other eye as well. I want to see if I can build up the intensity. I don't think I'm getting the eyeshadow that I have in the swatches or even in the pan. I'm a little bit disappointed. And after that, I'm taking the eyeshadow espresso and with the same brush, I'm going to add this in the outer crease. Okay, this one is a lot more intense. It is also a warmer brown eyeshadow. I like this one. It is exactly what I see in the swatches and also in the pan. And this shade is one of the best sellers by MAC. I can see why it looks very nice on the eyes. Moving on to eyeshadow mulch and this one is a shimmery eyeshadow. It is a brown golden shade. Ooh, it looks so pretty. You can also see the golden sheen on the eyelid it's super beautiful and this is also a warmer brown shade it blends very nicely for the rest of the eyelid i'm gonna be using the also guilty dazzle eyeshadow and i'm going to take it again with the same eyeshadow brush and i'm applying this on the inner eyelid towards the previous shade oh it is so cute I thought it would be a very dry eyeshadow. I'm trying to tap this on the eyelid so I don't cause any fallout. I'm adding some in the inner corner as well and it looks super adorable. Now I'm taking the eyeshadow Brun Bran and also a smaller brush and with this one I'm going to define the outer lower lash line. Oh that's nice. It has nice pigmentation 
And this one is described as a satin eyeshadow. It's not satin in the swatches or on the eyes. I'm also connecting this line with the outer eyelid to give to my eyes a more uplifted effect. Up next, I'm taking eyeshadow Tempting. This is a loose eyeshadow, a shimmery and it is a golden bronzy shimmery eyeshadow and i'm applying this in the inner lower lash line i think i'm going to switch the brush because this one is very fluffy i couldn't pack the color on my eyes so i'm taking a pencil brush again Ooh, that looks super super pretty it has a nice rich color and a beautiful sheen nice now i'm taking a smaller brush and the eyeshadow brun again and i'm going to add some on the outer crease to lift up my eyes because this eye specifically is more hooded i'm also taking eyeshadow what cloud this one here and I'm blending the edges of this one. Okay, nice. So now I can also see this beautiful caramel shade. I want to add some more of this eyeshadow, the also guilty. And I'm pressing this in the tear duct to lighten up more of this area. I really like the eye look that I have created. I would say the only disappointing eyeshadow is this one here, the Watt Cloud, but again, it looks nice with all of the other shades. Each eyeshadow is 23 to 24 dollars. It depends on what type of eyeshadow you're buying. And these eyeshadows contain 1.5 grams of product. You can also buy only the refill and not the whole packaging. For this eye look, I have used six eyeshadows so that means 138 dollars that's a lot for an eye look with an eyeshadow palette that you can buy for 50 or 60 dollars you can achieve this eye look and many more they're not overrated but they are definitely expensive for an eye look and for mascara i have two products here this one is the latest release by mac it is the mac stack mascara and i have done a review about it you can see it in the tiktok video that i have posted a few weeks ago i'm going to have a link in the description box below and i'm going to use this mascara here it is the 3d black mascara by mac i have a love hate relationship with this mascara sometimes i like it sometimes i really don't like it and with this one we have a plastic applicator it is a little bit thicker also we have short plastic bristles i'm starting with the lower lashes and then i'm going on the upper this is a very thick applicator for smaller eyes the first time that i tried this mascara was in a sample and i really liked it then i used this mini and i don't know what is the difference but the sample was better with this very short bristles it defines the lashes very nicely it doesn't give much volume i like that it doesn't dry fast and you can apply a few layers it also gives a very nice eye opening effect which is great if you have the dyes. The spoolie of this product is different than what I have usually in my collection because it has bristles even on the tip of the brush and you can use it for the inner corner. This is super convenient. By accident I have applied some mascara on the under eye area. It's been a few minutes. I'm hoping I can remove it i think it stains a little bit but you can easily cover it with the eyeshadows the full size of this mascara retails for 27 dollars and we're getting how much 13 milliliters this one here is 15 dollars and we're getting four milliliters i like how my lashes are looking it is just difficult for me to say you need to buy this expensive mascara because i have found so many good affordable and drugstore ones about the lips 
I like this shade because it is very similar to my own lip color but I'm going to remove it because it doesn't go so well with the brown eyeshadows and I'm taking my sponge that I have blended the cream products now I'm going to take the matte lipstick in the shade Velvet Teddy this one is one of the best sellers by MAC one of my favorites I'm going to apply this all over the lips I have swatched all of my matte lipsticks in a video and it's this one here I'm going to have a link in the description box as well I really like the matte lipsticks they give a satin finish they have very nice pigmentation they are lightweight on the lips and they don't intensify the lines of them they are also long lasting and i'm going to apply on top of this the mac lip gloss in the shade Purr. Purr. <laughs> this is always difficult to say the name and i'm going to add this all over the leaves if you want to see this shade by itself on my lips i'm gonna have the video link in the description box i have definitely tried some overrated mac products in this video let me know in the comments do you have any favorites by mac and i have also tried charlotte tilbury products you can find the video here thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye